Hi, Martin Turner here. I'm your unit coordinator and it's great to have you in our unit. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in Yapoon today. A lovely summer's day. And uh, what we're going to talk about now is assignment one, getting started. When we get to five o'clock on Friday in week one, uh, you'll be able to find the name of your company in the Find Your Company folder in the top centre section of Moodle. When you've got the name of your company, go to the Company Spreadsheet folder in the top centre section of Moodle and download the Excel spreadsheet. Then save the spreadsheet to your computer. When you've done that, open up the spreadsheet to the um, Financial Statements tab and go to cell B2. In cell B2, um, type in the name of your company. The name of the company I'm using in the unit is Ryman Healthcare. So I would type in Ryman Healthcare. Then go to cell B4 and type in your balance date. In my case, Ryman Healthcare's balance date is 31 March. So I'll put in years ended 31 March. Then go to cell B27 and type in your balance date as at in my case, 31 March. When you've done that, go to cell G6 and check out the currency. The currency in the spreadsheet is dollar thousands. If you've got an Australian company and it's a dollar thousands, you don't need to do anything. But the, for the rest of us, we'll need to change that to the currency of our firm. In my case, it's NZ dollar millions, NZ dollar M. Once you've tailored the spreadsheet with uh, changing those cells, uh, the changes should then auto-populate right through your spreadsheet and you should be ready to go with your spreadsheet for assignment one. I look forward to working with you in our unit and bye for now.